Hello Darts Nuts and welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm going to be checking out the new Target RVB95 Generation 3 Darts and these are from the recent Target 2021 launch and these also come with the Swiss points. So let's check them out. So as I said these are the RVB95 Gen 3 and this is the 23 gram model, the 95% tungsten. You can also get them in 21 and 25 gram in steel tip and 18 and 20 grams in soft tip and they retail for £82.85. So the darts come in this cardboard packaging, uh, it's got a kind of a open flap there, obviously you've got a picture of Barney and it says there five times world champion if you pull that tab and if you notice the tab has got uh, five stars on it inside there's a form insert holding the darts in place underneath you've got your little target uh, pamphlet and the darts are fitted with obviously the swiss points and they come with the swiss tool but they fit with the pro grip stems and the rvb 95 Gen 3 Pro Ultra Flights. So as you can see they come with the Swiss fire points and it's just classic straight barrel Barney dart with the tapered front and on the front half of the barrel it's got the nano grip. Now I've said before that nano grip kind of feels a bit slippy to me but it's a little bit better because it's got uh, the grip on some rings there so this part of it like it did on the nano grip steve buttons for me just feels a little bit slippy but some people say it feels grippy to them so it's probably a personal thing but uh, that part there with the rings on certainly a little bit better so not too bad there um, really nice looking barrel in a classic style and this is a pixel grip on the rear with the black titanium cotton so again it's only a very fine pixel grip on a kind of a flat ring so not massively grippy but probably maybe a touch grippier than the front but it could be down to the personal uh, individual how it reacts with your grip how sensitive you are to the feel of that but i think this one's going to be a, a popular it's a good classic uh, style of barrel lap and there's your pro grip stems and the rvb gen 3 pro ultra flights Darts are fitted with the 26mm Swiss fire point. There's a tapered nose and a section which is 3mm before you get into the ring grip. That's a fine ring grip with narrow grooves, 15.4mm and it's all covered in the nano grip. And then around the centre you've got a section of uh, nano grip that's 10mm on the rear. It's a fine ring grip with a fine pixel grip added. That's 18.4 millimeters and it's got the black titanium coating. On the very end, you've got a smooth section of 4.2 millimeters. Length is 51 millimeters, width is 6.5 millimeters. <laughs> 23.19 grams. 23.17 grams and 23.19 grams and full setup is 24.68 grams with nothing attached the balance is a little towards the front and with the supplied setup it moves very slightly in front of the center point and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. Mm -hmm. 
I think the nano grip is one of them grips that can feel very different to some people to what it feels to others for me when my fingers get a little bit sweaty it feels slippy but where the rings are it's not too bad so it's probably low medium overall the rear section just a slightly bit more grippy finger slipping off the point Oh, <laughs> I don't believe how close that was. That's put me off when my finger slipping off the point as well. <sighs> also, I, I forgot to mention, these are basically uh, the same dart as the um, Target Legacy, which I've already reviewed. It's just a little different colour, that's all. And obviously, with the Legacy pack, it was like a collector's edition so if you like the look of that tart and you never got a chance to get a set or you wanted uh, one a little bit cheaper then obviously these are the ones but everything that I did in that review just applies for these basically the nano grip on the front is a grip that some people may find more grippy than others I think for me when my fingers start to get a bit sweaty, it feels a little bit more slippy, but where it is up on the uh, the ring section, it's not too bad there. But uh, I know when my fingers will start to get more sweaty, it'll just have a, a slippy effect, but it depends on the individual as well. Some people prefer a, a milder grip. So I'm gonna try the middle section. I'm kind of uh, a little bit in between the pixel grip and the nano grip, so. But if you like the um, Barney Triple B darts, then you should really like these. It is a very nice dart to throw. It just, it just has one of them feelings like a good classic barrel that can suit many styles of throw. Um, and a lot of people are really big fans of what the old Triple Bs were. So it's nice that they've gone to that style again obviously with a little bit of difference and like I say it will work for front middle or rear grippers but if you're somebody who likes a little bit more grip then obviously not for you you're probably better off with one of the other Barney styles um nice and balanced around the center as you would expect but I was getting a little bit of fish tail in there for some strange reason. So I'm going to try that rear section and I think with that rear the pixel grip is so fine and the, the rings are very flat so it's not overly grippy but it's I think the coating is just adding a little bit to it for me. So it's kind of like a I would say medium level to low medium but again it's how the cotton affects certain people. Some people can feel an effect from it and some people can't. I'm still quite a big fan of gold tie cotton, but I think the little pixels in the cotton are just working together quite well for the rear section. Um, obviously these have got the Swiss points as well and They've got the finger grip on the points, so if you like grippy points, then great. Them fire points are pretty nice, but I'm just as happy with a standard uh, black coated point myself. But there you go, nice all rounder again.
Let's check out the ratings. It's a neat looking dart in a classic style, so 8, grip overall, round about 5, but uh, could be a bit low to some people. Weight match, pretty close, so 9. Quality is very good, but it is a basic style, but 9 overall. And value, it is a player's dart, so it's always going to be a bit more expensive, but like I said, it's not a really fancy machined barrel, so 5.5 for value. So that's the Target RVB Generation 3, 9.5 Generation 3, uh, 23 gram. I think the Legacy darts that I tried were 25 gram, and these ones feel a lot better for me, just being a little bit lighter. Um, my only issue is that point, it's just a little bit short, and I like to rest that finger just on the tip of the point, and when I'm throwing these, it feels like it's looking for the tip and I'm not finding it, so it's a little bit off-putting. The other thing is, well, every time I throw a Barney dart, I always got it in my head, Barney's lovely throw, and I'm trying to think, oh, I wish I could throw like that. And I'm, I'm thinking in my mind, I'd have got to throw like Barney, but <laughs> obviously I can't, so it's just a pity that, but wishful thinking um but yeah a really nice dart but i think for people who like a bit more grip probably not for you but uh, it is that classic good old barney barrel shape and style that many people like and it's one of them classics in in all darts you know we've got the bristols the barneys the laws and so on and so on but uh yeah very nice um obviously a little bit pricey and i think that's the only thing that's spoiling it for many it's just the price but you are getting a very nicely done dart but there you go so that's the end of the video hope you've enjoyed watching it and if you stick around for the gallery you can see some close-up pics of the darts and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so and i'll see you in the next video happy darting